But hey, good morning, good morning. It's uh, 4.30 a.m. I'm on my way to the gym. I'm a couple minutes away. I don't know what exactly I wanted to talk about today. But just now, I was thinking about how it seems like everything keeps going wrong, right? No matter what you do, no matter what you try, no matter how much you try to make headway, progress, it just seems like it's not happening. Just when you think you're getting ready to come above water to breathe, you're pushed back under. And I, I gotta admit, that happens to me. I, I can I can remember uh I, well, I got to take it back. I can't even remember a stretch of time in my life when things have went exactly as planned. But I can remember when things went definitely not according to plan. And I woke up this morning and uh, I was thinking about Malachi. As you notice, he's, he's a huge topic of, of my conversation because... My responsibility is to set the set the example and set the expectation so that way life his life can be lived to the fullest that it possibly can be uh, versus what uh, popular demand might say is that you go to school you get in debt you get a nine to five job that you work forever that you don't like and uh, have a couple kids, a car, some other type of debt, and then call it a wrap at the end of the day and die. You have to look inside. And when things go wrong, it's hard to look inside. And when things keep going wrong and you know you're trying, it really is hard to look inside because now you're talking to your ego. Now you're telling your ego, dude, this got to be on me. I know we're trying, but this has got to be on me. Where did I go wrong? Where did it not, where did the rubber not meet the road? And once you start doing that, it's going to create a whole nother sense of accountability whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish in life. Now listen, I'm not an expert at this. I'm trialing and testing it my damn self. So there might be somebody out there that has a better answer to me than what's going on. But I'm living this every day. I'm testing it every day. And I'm giving you the best of what it is that I know every single day. Because at the end of the day, the one thing we have that we can't get back is time. And wishing Monday through Friday will come as quick as they can just to enjoy Saturday and Sunday. Well, that means you're making half your life over three quarters of your life go by just so that you can enjoy doing nothing. And that's sad. You come into Monday praying to God it goes by fast so you can get to Friday and then repeat that vicious cycle all over again. If things are not going right, you have to look inside. You have to find out. You have to ask the honest and serious questions to yourself. What is it that I am not doing? And I guarantee your answer will be there. I'm at the gym already. Peace.